All right, so we just spun up a new uh, bubble application and we're going to get started. First off, we're going to set this to 960. And um, our friends here at uh, BuildCamp have a lot of uh, expertise on this. Just let's stick with this width for now. It's divisible by three or four. It's uh, very easy for you to make it responsive. And that's going to be a key thing uh, whenever we build this application, right? So it's not fixed width, it's uh, like that. So this is our the base. So let's start with um, setting a height. Right now, well, it's uh, very, very large, but let's set to 2000. You know, just a, a number that we have in, in mind here. We can set this higher or lower, but 2000 sounds like a, a good uh, starting ground. Now, let's put our navigation bar. That's going to be a, a floating group. We're going to set it at uh, zero, 0, should be on the left. And I want to set it for, let's say, 240 pixels. And we're going to set it to the same height as the, the whole page, so 2000, right? All right, I'm going to give it uh, just some color so that we see Put a flat color. Let's get something nice and shiny. All right, we got that in there. All right, good. So this is, let's give it a name, nav bar. All right. Now we want to set up a header. The header is also going to be a floating group. All right, and we'll set this one up to 60 height. And the width is going to be the 960. And we're also going to place a 00. zero. Right, and we'll call this the header. All right, and then we're gonna and we're gonna set it there. And now the next thing we need to do is to make sure that this floating group is in the front. Right? We want this to be on top of uh, the header. All right, so this is the base of our um, navigation um, of our app shell. Right, so if we do a visualize it, we should see just an app shell. Let's let it. This should not be fixed with, of course. This should follow that. So let's reload this. All right, and now uh, this here should be uh, responsive. Uh, it, it will work on all uh, sizes here, right? So, all right, we got that down. <clears throat> so, one of the... Um, uh, before we even get into the content section, one of the key parts that we're going to have is this, you know, nav bar. We needed to move in and out uh, of that, so we're, we're going to have to set up this um, uh, this interaction. So let's just do this. We're going to put an icon. Um, let's go with um, burger. Do we have that burger? Three lines. This one here. All right, we're gonna set this 24, 24, and maybe too big for the seconds. Let's go 2020. <coughs> and we need that 20 and 18. <coughs> Let's just set 2020. All right, so this is gonna be our. set this I'm gonna so this is on the nav bar I'm gonna actually copy this one put it paste it back here okay not what I intended so first edit copy 
go in here, edit, paste. Okay, we should have it in there. And we wanted it, you know, just put it 2020. This is going to be our uh, icon open nav bar. So we know the name of it. All right. Now <coughs> we want to look into this one here. This is going to be the uh, close nav bar. And we just want the X here. So there's a close. Yeah, something like this. Okay, these icons are not the, <coughs> the nice ones we have here, but this is uh, just show the idea. So first off, the close nav bar is gonna, you know, as animate this. And what are we gonna animate? The floating bar, and we're gonna go with the no bounce out. No bounce left out okay so that it just disappears and the other element whenever the open we're gonna go with animate floating nav bar no bounce right in so at the end of it we're gonna oh no no bounce left in So it's going to show uh, in there. So let's see, let's test this out. All right. And this is the basic navigation bar. Well, they're a bit out of line here. So I bet you this floating roof, let me just fix it, yes, hide that. This one should, yeah, stay to the left, fix width, and now they should be perfectly on top of each other so that uh, you, know, you just click and animate. All right, we got that down. All right, I changed a couple of things here, the colors too striking, so we're going all grays. Now we need to create the, we move on to the content section, right? So we're going to create a group here. Uh, we're going to call it the, the group content. So this is going to be the section where we put everything in there. Also, um, it's going to be um, responsive. Uh, the width, we're going to use the same 960. The height, we're just going to take the 2000 minus the 60 uh, from the, uh, of the header there. And we're just going to use this, right? And let's um, just give it a color so that we can see it there. So I'll give a very faint uh, gray color here. Uh, and we can, we'll be able to see it, right? Uh, this one, the floating group, is going to be on top. And we can see here our, our group, uh, my floating group. Header. Oh yeah, well the, the header is nothing inside of it. Let me just change that, remove style, and I'll give also a less faint color so that we see it. Oh, they're too similar. I just want something like this. Um, and that should, you can start seeing how this is going to build up, right? So we'll be able to see the, you see how it scrolls and you have all the parts there. And as soon as you, uh, you can hide and show the, um, the background and you have the content section in there. All right. So let's add a couple of, you know, let's add some content in here. How are we going to do that? The, the way we're going to do it is, is like this. Let's see, uh, inside the group content, we're going to have, um, we're going to add whatever we need. And each one of those are going to, uh, they're going to be reusables and they're going to be, have to be contained inside of groups. So let me add a group here inside of uh, our content. And we're going to give it the same dimension. So uh, 960, uh, 1940. And we're going to put it, this one at zero, zero, because this is just inside of, uh, of it. Uh, you know, 
we don't have to we put here the responsiveness to, to zero and we're gonna give it a, um, a, a background and I'm just gonna give it some some faint color here so that we see it in the um, the page right and we're gonna collapse this when it's hidden and we're gonna set it uh, this is gonna be our group um, uh, let's see yeah, let's just go with a and b here uh, this one we're gonna set it that is not visible right and we're just gonna copy this let's put it in there I can duplicate it you should see another one there and put this in here since we just copied it we just move it to Zero, 0 I will take the color out of this because now we're going to have the uh, the background and also this one should be invisible when it's there and inside of each one of these we'll put some text uh, so let's just put here group B so that we can we can see it Copy it, paste it, and this is going to be group A. Right? So that we see uh, when one shows the uh, and so, so we see, okay, well, is this thing even working or not? Right? And then I will put here on the on this side a couple of texts on the floating group. So we're going to say group A and let's duplicate this and group B. Okay, so very simple. We're going to have a couple of things that are going to call out uh, those, those groups. And what we're going to do here is we're going to start with no, go to page and it's going to be the same page and it's going to send some parameters uh, and I'll just call it here the um, uh, V for visibility and we're going to call this something here group A okay well, let's just put A here for short okay and I need to get that out of there so group A All right and if the this one is clicked we do the same go to page and the index and we're going to send v for or just going to be our <coughs> our key for visibility and this is then b all right and so now we just need to do something you probably say whenever the url v is this one is group B. It's B. Come on now. We make this visible. All right? And then we'll do the same for uh, group A. A. Whenever URL, we're going to get the, the parameters from the, the page there. Whenever this is, uh, this is A, we're going to make this visible. All right, let's test this out. And as soon as you click each one of them, they show up, okay? And you can see that uh, each one of them is uh, is there. And they are taking the full width of the page. Yeah, we have the, the whole um, the debug area here. I should probably take that out. But, and it is also uh, responsive. So I'm going to get to here. Well, right now the text is pushing stuff to the side so let's fix that so that it's uh, fully responsive and we'll just add this to make this 960 and it's not fixed with we need to put it at zero and we'll center this text make it uh, big and bold here 36 at one so we need this to be 36 Hold on, and we just call 
B format thing? Hmm. What is this? That's weird. Okay, and we're gonna paste the format in here. And we're gonna also make it 960, 0, 36. All right, and we'll be able to see. <coughs> All right, so that you have here the now group A, group B. Uh, you can close the the window, and you're gonna have this uh, be uh, usable on both sides, right? The the header is there. It uh, expands uh, all the way. It sticks with you, <coughs> and you can switch around between the, the different groups. It takes over the, the whole page. I got rid of the debug here, so you can see that it goes all the way to the bottom. Maybe even better if I make this background a different color, make it 10% here. And then you'll be able to see the, the switching around. Okay, this is all basic stuff. Well, now we're going to get into refactoring this whole thing. So group A, blue, hold on, and we have it all. All right, let's refactor one thing. The app show right now has, you know, anything inside of it, it just keeps on growing, right? This group B, just expand as much as you can. And I wouldn't recommend that. Most applications want to keep it somehow constrained, let it grow a little bit, um, and we can control that from one simple uh, place. Right, so we can go in here to the group content and say, look, apply a max. Uh, let's just do 100% now, meaning that it will not grow past 960. So if you look into here, you will have here the app will just grow and then shrink. All right, great. So this is a good way to uh, to do it. You say, look, no, I want my app to be, um, you know, if we talk about... Um, I want to, to extend to uh, extend it to let's say 125 uh, percent, right? Uh, if I now it's constrained to 96, the main content section. Now we can have it actually be a bit larger, right? So it depends on what kind of content you, you have in there. We're going to stick to 100 percent. It's uh, easier to uh, uh, to grasp, right? But you can grow this to whatever number you see fit. 